Ooh. Herbit just love that glow. Look at that. It's like leopard. Caper, dude. Like, got God. that on tape. There he is. Oh, yeah. I don't know how big it is. Swim down. Whoa. <laughs> dude, angry. That one is angry. What's going on guys? Kevin Fox from Fox Fishing 4K. So tonight we are going out for some burbs. Some people call them eel pout, freshwater cod, ling, lada lada. I don't know, it has a bunch of names, but we finally got on to the summer bite, deep water bite, 200 feet of water plus. And finding these guys was really difficult. This is a three year plan or a, a three-year research project to catch these things and we finally got on to them last night so tonight we're trying to do it again we're going to try to break the Ontario record will that happen tonight likely not but we're hoping to see a bunch of numbers put over the rail uh, tonight just Connor and I so we'll see what we can do we'll take turns holding the camera take turns hopefully Smashing some great big old bourbon. Let's go. Woo. X marks the spot. Here's where we were hitting them the other night. Just on this transition, it goes from like 180 up to like 165. Tonight it's a little earlier. We're gonna start in the bowl here, around 180 feet. There's some cobble and gravel here, and they push in here, and then they push up on this edge. So we're hoping to mark them on the live scope in 2D and follow these burbot jigging along the bottom until we start striking them. The lures that we're gonna be using tonight are, this is a Moonshine Lures Super Glow, and this one is called yellow goby and what what this yellow goby uh spoon is this is actually a casting spoon this is a three quarter ounce lake ontario will take this down with a real long rod uh with braid and a, and a light lead and really fly these spoons out and reel them in and catch salmon when they're staging in front of the rivers these spoons are also excellent for burbot so we'll be using the moonshine spoons i'm opening this one up right now they have an amazing glow to them let's use this for one second Give this a quick charge. These are the Super Glow Moonshines. And as, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. That glow that you get off of that. Put this in the dark. And the Burbit absolutely love that. The other lures we are using is here. I'll show you my Burbit tackle box. I'll throw this in here with these. Charge these up. Big nasty tackle jig heads. Big nasty tackle trout and pouts. Uh, these are like ounce and a quarter. These are probably three quarters of an ounce and these are the super glow They're like a yellow color during the day and then these ones don't glow as bright and they're like a white color so if you can see those they're all charged up and the Eel pout or the burbot just love that glow. So I'm gonna grab one of these Connor's gonna be using the trout and pout and We're gonna start jigging some burbot so what we're tipping these baits with, I get these packages, I go and catch sucker fish. Grab a piece of sucker meat, is start taking my scissors and just cutting some chunks up. And I'll leave these right on my cutting board here so that we've got some bait to go for the next little bit. And I'll hook on a little chunk of this meat onto the bottom hook. And if you leave a little bit of skin on it, just like I did on this, It'll hold on really good. Take this, see the skin here? Put the treble just through the top right here. So I got it on one treble, and then I wrap the flesh around it to the next treble, and then this one on this one. You want all the flesh around on each treble hook. So that's what you're jigging. And this is what you're pounding bottom. So your lure, let's say this is the boat here. This is what you want your lure to do on the bottom. You want to come down and slam, come up, flutter, slam, come up, 
flutter, slam. And then what I'll do is I'll come up and start waving. If I see a high mark come in, I'll start wiggling and lifting and that burbot will come and hit. But a lot of times on that fall, it'll feel like your bait gets stuck in that mud. They'll slam it right away and you're hooked up. So let me put a swivel on this guy. Let me tie this on and Connor and I are gonna drop some lines and hopefully hook into some bourbon. Is the wee guy? Yeah, he's not fighting too, too much. Oh, I can see him coming up. Let's shine the light on him. There he comes. Let's hope he, he fared pretty well bringing him up slow like you did. Yeah, there you go. Beauty. That's a good one, dude. Hold him up. So there's the trout and pout. Glow. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm hooking you. Now look at the colors on these things. They curl up. Look at it. It's curling up like a ball. They are so cool. They have like leopard color print. Let's see. Hold that up, buddy. Hold that up. Yeah, let's see. Hold it out. Yeah, Rolling like a ball. Look at him. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's look at this guy. Oh. You're He's trying to hit the camera. So cool, though. So we're going to let this guy go. Hopefully, he sw swims back down to the depths. <laughs> I'm going to get burbot fingers, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at that. Full moon, too, tonight. Beautiful. All right, let's get another. Oh, my rod's going. I, I'm hooked up. I left my rod off to the side. This is a good one. I'm trying to keep tension on him. <laughs> We're trying to let go of this burb and he's just hooked up right away. Oh, That's yeah. hilarious. Like I said, this one here, I'm probably going to release it really quick once I bring it up. Just, just get the footage and let him go. Yeah. As he is. Oh, he's yeah. Wee guy. A wee he's guy. all wrapped up. Beautiful. Nice little guy. So we're going to release this guy right away. Hopefully he can swim down. He has the strength to take off. Let's see how long he's down. down he goes. Look at him. Can you still see him? Yeah. What? Look at him. You can still see him. He's still swimming down. He's over there. Do you see him? What? That's crazy. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. There's a... Decent old burb. Look at that tail. Look at the patterns on that. Like prehistoric. It's like leopard. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I go my thumb. Oh, that's a good one, dude. It feels a bit better. I don't know how big it is, but we gonna see doesn't feel that big. I'm hoping to kind of get this guy up, unhook him quick, and then throw him back. Right back down. Tiny, burb. tiny little burbot. Just like that. Perfect. At least that way they can swim away unscathed. I think he's coming up here. Yeah, he's up the top here for sure. Yeah, I see my cold jig. I don't see it, but I see my. Oh, he's a good one. Is he? Yeah. He's a good one. Look at that guy. All right, you can unhook him. Yeah, okay. always main shank. Yep. And then curve. You got it. That's the way. Yep. Perfect. There you go. All right, we'll see if this guy will swim away real quick. Let's hope he just goes real quick. Oh, he took right off, dude. Oh, yeah, he took off quick. He took off real quick. Yeah. All right. On the old. Oh, look at this, dude. Look at that. Look at this burbot right on top of me. I got one on mine. Like, it's right there. He's gonna smoke it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see if we can get this bite on film, guys. I got one coming up for my rod right now. Bet you any money you'll hit. A little jig here. Let's see if I can get him to. Look at him, he's right there. I'll try to entice him to bite. I'm gonna drop right down. That's a big mark, dude. Scott said, well done, boys. Try to get one right now, Scott. See if we can get if one on can film for you. One. There, he's diving. I'm just jigging the bottom, stirring it all up, mucking it all up. This one looked like a good one, dude. If we can get him to bite, I don't know. Come on. There he is. Oh, yeah. What's going on, Matt Trendle? Nah, he's not that big. 
Ew. I don't even want to touch this one. It's got like a three foot tapeworm hanging out its ass. Look at that. <laughs> Tapeworm! Greasy! Ah, I don't want it to flick and touch me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, and I don't want the line to get all tangled, so it'll be hard to release. Okay. Ooh! Gross. See, like, spawn of whatever you want. <laughs> oh, you see that tapeworm, dude? Like, got that on tape. <laughs> I got that on film. Ooh, That's crazy. Slam back down, though. That's a good one, dude. That uh, is a good one. There you go. There you go. That's a decent little chunky one there, man. Uh, he choked it. Mm, yeah, he did. But he choked it. I got no yeah. meat left on there. There you go. Grab. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I was going to say, when you're pulling it, don't pull it like that. Because you'll break the hooks. You always grab by the main shank. Like... And you see you're doing it again. Don't grab it by the barbs. Grab it by the main shank. You grabbed your hook up here because you're going to break all my hooks. <laughs> Wait a sec. Show everybody what you got there. That's sick. Another one. Down he goes. Yeah, he's swimming down. Mark on the, on the uh, 2D doesn't look huge, but it looks okay. It looks okay. I like the bend it's got on your rod. Let's see, bring him in. There you go. See this hook? You're grabbing my prongs, you'll break every hook like that. You wanna grab the main shank. Like this? Yeah. See that, how easy that came out? All right, let's see. Come on, come on. Like I said, I'm hoping that as soon as he comes up, here we go, we can release him. So before I even pull them in, grab the pliers and try to do this quick as possible for the best chance of releasing them. Oh, there, it came off. But he's still floating here. Oh, he's trying to swim. Here, I'll show him quick to you guys. Here he is. But he's kicking, he's lively. So I'm just gonna let him go and hopefully he swims down. Come on, he's close. Never have time to put the rods down. We're always getting fish. It's crazy. Doesn't seem too, too big. No, it's tiny. It's a little burp. Wee baby. Uh, I forgot about the GoPro. <laughs> Just a wee baby. So all I'm gonna do is say, look at the dark spot on his head. Whoa. That's cool, hey, eh? look at him. That's crazy. Little monster. Yeah. All right. Off he goes. Now he goes. Hey, hey. Reeling him in quick's working better. Woo! Let's go. Another one. Oh, look at that one. He's cool looking, dude. He's so cool looking. He's darker, man. He's really dark. He's yeah. really dark. Give me my finger back. Thank you. There you go. Look how dark this guy is, guys. Up like a ball. You, they can't see it. There. Look how cool that thing is. Should we fizz him or what? Well, we'll see if he dives down first. Just give him a toss right here and see if he dives. Oh, he yeah. took off like a bat out of hell. He's gone though. <laughs> I got bullet. Yeah, yeah, man. Right on. We are live on Facebook. I'm trying to focus on my phone. See there, Dervish Curry saying fish on. Bruce Pedal's watching. Dom's writing here. Everybody say hi to the channel. He's saying, I'm so happy you figured them out in the summer. I know how adamant you were about it. Glad you're getting your fill, bud. Now let's get that record. Heck yeah, Dom. Heck yeah, buddy. Heck yeah, we're trying, Woo! buddy. We are trying. <laughs> Almost at the top here. Another little guy or what? I don't know. Can't see him yet. Yeah. Let's see how small he is. Oh wow, little guy. Little wee guy. He's only about three pounds. Look at how dark. Look at the cool patterns on him though. Look at that. 
so right flipping good. cool let's all right yeah let's toss them quick just dive them i think sometimes that big splash when it hits the water get some swimming god oh, yeah connor's let's glow this bad boy up connor's glowing up his trout and pout spoon right now let's see that glow here i'll turn the glow it up glow it up connor and i'll shut the lights off and i'll show them wow look at that this guy might be a 10 plus. Yeah, we don't know. All right, maybe flip the light on. We can see a little better. <laughs> Took a rip, though. Yeah, he went for a good run. She went for a good rip. I don't think she's over 10. Doesn't feel like it when I pull. I think she was just like a wild youngin. Oh, he's a decent one. Better size. Yeah. Yeah, getting better. He's definitely a fiver. He's definitely a fiver. Oh, there we go. Hope she swims down. Whoa! <laughs> Feisty. He was angry. I was angry. I wonder if they can see the splash or not. But where the hell is that? Mostly Kevin, but I'm hooked up now. No, it hasn't been mostly me. You're killing me in the beginning. He's fighting pretty good. I might need the net on this bad boy. Nice. Oh. Really? <laughs> I can't break your hook. I can't get my thumb in his mouth. Yeah, oh, he choked that. Come on. There we go. Show the camera. Just trying to curl up on me. That's so sick, dude. All right. All right, let, let her go. Let go of my thumb. <laughs> let go of my shirt. <laughs> All right, toss him hard, head down. Go. Yeah, that splash usually makes him angry and that makes him kick. All right, guys, we are heading out. Connor and I are heading in now. Uh, we tried a couple new spots just to see if we could dial the burbs in in a couple different areas. We tried pushing in shallow just because a lot of the burbot we were catching were really hard to release. They were so uh, bloated. Yeah, the barrel trauma for them was really affecting them, so we kept pushing in shallower. We went right into 65 feet. As soon as we got into anything shallower and what we were fishing in like that 180, we just weren't getting bites. Um, and when we pushed deeper than like 200, we weren't getting bites. So it was one, that 180 would seem like the magic number for us. So um, it is what it is. Uh, tonight we landed, I think around 17 burbot, missed a couple more. We were using the sucker meat tonight. I think using emerald shiners or something really fresh live would work way better. Uh, tonight they are really turned on to the eel tr or the trout and pout by Big Nasty Tackle and the size that Connor was using was I think the three quarter ounce or one ounce this was a smaller one right here that was working better try try different colors try different sizes see what works for you guys see what works uh, best on your water body for Georgian Bay it's bang and bottom Lake Simcoe it's kind of like a wave and a jig um and uh, nipissing i find uh we're, you can either be banging bottom or doing the wave up there nipissing uh we do quite well for burbot uh nipissing is probably the easiest fishery to catch burbot and then i'd say probably georgian bay is pretty easy as well just it's hard to find them but once you do it's easy catching them and then the most difficult to uh catch i would say would be lake simcoe so connor and i are heading out we've got a bit of a run to get back in and connor's got work in the morning so see you guys later and on to the next one Bye bye <laughs>